Hello, Susanna here from The Good Property Company. So old school, Ash and I are doing a tour of different deals we've done. We're gonna do quite a series of this so that you guys can pick up on how we sliced up a house or how we made money out of a house or what mistakes we made so that ideally, <laughs> yes, Sorry. yes, yes, don't jump. Um, so here is deal 154, which is Somerset Street. So we're now kind of moving up. We did deal 14 uh, last one, which was so cute, like baby time. Um, Somerset Street, we bought this for half million, 500,000. It basically was four walls. You know, you can see that there's plaster now. There was nothing. It was just four bricked walls. I and mean, there's still, that you can see where the guys have got their, um, their tea area. It, that brick, it was the whole way through. Um, and there was actually no roof as well. There's a bit of green tarpaulin. And um, Ash has uh, assessed it as being valued up at 750. I think it's going to be valued up a bit more, but Ash is known for undervaluing. Um, so we shall see what happens when we get this there out, which will only be in a month's time. And it is actually a property um, with planning. So here we have planning, which is, it's quite dirty. It's the build, planning to put in one of those rather trendy kind of glass conservatories, which is down there. So we're actually close to the end and it doesn't look like it. Um, nobody's working today because we're waiting for the building regs guys to turn up so they can sign off the concrete. Sorry, they can sign off um, the uh, foundation so that tomorrow we can get concrete poured and then work starts again. But that is starting to get ready so that we can now put out uh, the extension. And the first three floors are pretty much finished. So although it looks not ready at all, it's really close. It's like four or five weeks ago away to being lived in. Um, so what can I say about this one? Um, grade two listed uh, and uh, we worked with the architects plans we actually bought it with planning permission to pop this extension out but basically what it was was a smashing guy who'd bought it from a family who'd kind of not looked after it for about 30 years he was a property developer and bless him he was doing everything himself and he just kind of went what am I doing with my life you know so he sold it as a bit of a wreck so it had to be bought with bridging because it couldn't be bought with mortgage because like there was no toilet there was no sink there was no electric so it was just nothing um, and so it's a fair project and we actually bought it through an estate agent and we were very very lucky to get it because properties do not come up very often in this area and it would have been totally snapped up um, now Ash does, as you know, deal reports. So he'll give um, a, an idea of uh, what the estate agent values it up as, what he values it up as, and what is needing done. So we don't give, when we, we this one I bought, but we, he still did a deal report because he didn't know whether I was gonna buy it or someone else. So we, would, we actually don't give a valuation of this is how much it's gonna cost you to renovate because that's over to a sourced client to, to take their builder on site because we don't renovate for source deal clients. Um, we no longer have a sourcing business. We ran it for five years. That was always the plan. And we shut it bang on year five. And Ash and I are just talking it through in the car. But what we often will say is um, exactly what the property needs to be done to finish off. And it's over to the source deal folks to then figure that out. And an interesting thing for you guys is how does he actually estimate value? Well, for the source deal guys, he gives them an indication of where it is because not everybody buys in Bristol. And then he gives an indication of where it is in city centre, basically it is the city center and then he does valuations of what people think so here what we always quote and we always feel it's important to be quite open book the, the agent's name their their branch name um their brand their branch name their phone number and what they've said and of course for our source to your clients then the guys can actually phone up and just say hey uh, i know that you kind of gave a desktop valuation on this property can i just double check that so open book over to our clients to, to figure it out. And then he gives a list, I think you've got about 20 properties here that give an average sold price. And Ash actually had an average sold price of 727, but he estimates this is uh, worth 750. I think it's worth more, definitely. And then he also um, gives a, a, significant, a significant number, it would be a couple of pages worth of properties that are on the market or sold subject to contract. And by doing that evaluation of what do the agents think, because they're like seeing what's happening right now. What are the sold prices over the last six months to a year? So what have people actually paid cash for? But obviously the market's moving. And then what is currently on the market, you can get quite a good triangulation. So when you're spending, you know, half a million pounds on a property that he thinks is worth 750, I think is worth more, you know, those are big figure sums and you don't really want to be getting it wrong. 
Um, so grade two, we actually brought it with planning permission and we actually didn't alter a thing. We just went, yep, yeah, let's do it exactly as it was planned, totally happy. We worked with the same architect, we got the drawings, and in fact, we ended up, the day I bought it, I drove down from Scotland, met Rob, the guy that sold it me, and we sat out in that garden on top of a table, which of course is in the middle of a garden, and we just chatted about life for two hours in July. It was so nice. This has been a fairly lengthy refurb, so one of the tips I would give you is don't do things on day rate. I have a fixed price contract from my builder and um, milestones as to when the payments are to be made with 10% retained for snagging. And again, that means that budget-wise I can budget and I also know how much it's going to cost me in total. Although I'm possibly going to... Oh, I possibly would like to move in here, so I'm making it a little bit more fancy than normal. But to just indicate, that, I mean, we've worked together like five, five and a half years now. Um, and okay, so all of that stuff that Ash does for our investors. But what happened with this property is Ash just walked in and he went, I found a house for you. And I went, okay. <laughs> and that was it. I just agreed to buy it. I don't, I don't think I saw it for about six weeks. Um, but I so know Ash and he so knows me and I so trust him that if he's told me he's found a house for me to live in, I'm going to do it. Now, no one else should buy on that basis. But when you've worked with somebody for years and you've seen the results of their work, that trust is totally there. Anything you want to add? Feel good. I yeah. <laughs> in, he just spoke. Sort out there. <laughs> We're staying away from it because at the moment we shouldn't really be on site because obviously that needs to be health and safety. And we're waiting for the building regs to sign it off and then the guys come back in tomorrow. See you later.